Hi, Brent Haynes with Wood Sound Flutes. We are going to talk about bass flutes today, and more particularly, we're going to talk about side blow flutes, flutes that you play with a mouthpiece that's on the side of the instrument. Uh, we've done this in a number of different ways over the years. Uh, I've, I've always had a little bit of a issue with the side blows because they were difficult to clean. The instrument had a convoluted path. Uh, you had to blow in down here perhaps, it went up a transfer tube and then into the flute and so this convoluted path of, of air, air path was difficult to get moisture out. So in the back of my mind I've been thinking about that for a lot of years. How can I make an instrument and, and that will be easy to clean and so last year I introduced the moisture cap which was I had the regular mouthpiece, regular side blow, maybe the mouthpiece coming out the side of the flute here and then a moisture cap on the end of the flute that you could pull out and you could clean out the flute and it was easy to do. Uh, a couple of months ago I had an idea, I actually was uh, commissioned to make the flute that we're hold I'm holding right now. This is made out of Grenadillo with Banksia pod, some ebony and lots and lots of shugalite which is this purple stone. We uh, crushed some of that purple stone and inlaid this heart line and then the Banksia pod, these rings it is just really, really beautiful. It's a really gorgeous instrument. Um, but I wanted it to be special. I wanted this instrument to really be a special instrument. It was for a particular client who uh, I think very highly of, and I, I wanted something that was just really nice. And I had this idea of, of this side blow. So I created a, uh, a test flute. This is the test flute. I did a Facebook video uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, with this test flute and demonstrated it. We'll pay, play more on that test flute here in a minute. And uh, after making the test flute, I, create, I, I made the initial prototype of how to do the side blow that would allow you to clean it easy. And basically what it is is a combination of the moisture cap with the side blow. So here this whole piece comes out. This is a solid piece of ebony with O-rings. There's three O-rings here. I keep them greased so it's easy to slide in and out of the flute. This, uh, then there's a, a transfer tube that you can hardly see on this. It's made out of ebony that goes into this Grenadillo transfer tube. The Grenadillo transfer tube goes into the ebony mouthpiece that then comes out this way. So when I blow, I get air coming out of this hole right here. It's not a pipe, although I guess you could use it as one. I don't know how long it lasts, but anyways, it's uh, one of the guys in the shop said, yeah, it looks like a pipe, you're Gandalf or something. <laughs> anyways, um, but it's really easy to clean out. If I, if this was all, uh, if I'd been playing this and it was full of moisture, I simply put my mouth here and blow real hard, preferably with a cloth um, slightly covering the hole and it blows all the moisture out. Actually, I would do it this way upside down so it pushes the moisture down and then back up just this little area. And I've cleaned this out a number of times already having played it and it works really really well. In fact I made this video once before had forgotten to turn on the sound and to record it and so I'm shooting the video again and when I did that I cleaned this out and it's dry as a bone and that was maybe 45 minutes ago that I cleaned this out. So it's pretty awesome. Then uh, the end of the flute, I have a great big opening that, uh, that I can go in and clean that first chamber out, get all the moisture out. It's very easy for me to just tip the flute upside down and tap it dry. Of course, remove the totem, clean the totem, and all of those things. Another thing that makes this really, really nice is look how easy it is to put into a flute case now. Right? You no longer have a great big thing hanging off the side of the flute. This can just go in in the case as well separately and, and then this goes in the case and we have a very easily transportable um, instrument, at least a lot easier than it was when this device was built right onto the flute. Additionally, a third thing that it does that is really, really cool is I can rotate it anywhere I want it. So I can put the mouthpiece here. I can, I personally typically play with it at the 45. So if you think of this as zero and that as 90, right there would be 45. And that's typically where I play the flute. 
but some people like it at zero, to play at zero, where you'd basically be playing with it right in front of your face. Um, it, it's very, very comfortable on the hands to play it like this. The 45 allows me to kick the flute backwards this way, and I bring my elbow back a little bit, kind of rest my, my left hand. This is a left-handed flute, by the way. The hole on the bottom is offset to the left hand, and the hole on the top three holes is offset to the, uh, the right. So that's a left-handed flute, and so you play like this. And that's how I prefer to play it. So um, let me go and play the head and play this uh, this instrument because it is just such an amazing sound. The uh, the the hardness of the Grenadillo produces just a phenomenal echo, and so I uh, I just really love it. So it is really a blast to play. As you can tell, super, super easy to get lost in the sound. It's, uh, it's just a joy to play because it's so easy to play. The new side blow is going to be a great tool for people that want to play, say, a low E flute, and perhaps they just have small hands or uh, not a long reach, or maybe there's something um, wrong with their hand or, or something that, that's caused their, um, their particular ergonomics to need to have a side blow on a, on a flute that's only as low as an E or maybe a low D or something like that. And, uh, and it will allow a person to easily play one of those flutes. Now on a smaller flute, we wouldn't use this long transfer tube. We just have a, uh, a tube coming straight out of the moisture plug here. It would just come straight out and you would play it right here. The mouthpiece would be right up there. But where this is a really big flute, we have a longer moisture. We have a longer transfer tube to bring the hands up this way, so that it's easier to play. And the smaller the flute goes, the more I want to push it down, and because the hands are already going to be up there based on on the finger hole position of the flute. So um, this particular flute, as I said, is set up as a left hand down flute. It's got the bottom hole offset to the left hand, and then this. Uh, uh, fourth hole up is offset to the right. On the, this teak flute, the prototype flute, I did a straight uh, finger construction, so the holes just go straight down the tube. The advantage of this is that it is good for a left-handed player to play, or a right-handed player to play. And it can be set up for either one to be played in, in either setup, which is really awesome. Like if you're going to flute circle and, and maybe you want somebody to accompany you with their bass flute, then you don't really care whether they're left or right handed because they can play it. And because of the side blow, they're able to get a longer reach between their fingers. It makes it easy to play. So let's go ahead and these big flutes are a lot to handle. Um, this teak is just a blast. So this moisture, this was the initial design on the uh, the moisture plug side blow. I've got to come up with a fun name for this. Um, but uh, you can see that I had this this 
um, moisture plug was smaller in diameter because that's what I did with the moisture plugs. And then the moisture plug was just a little piece of, it would be just a little black piece that would be on the top of this. It kind of looked like a little cap. In the future, what I will do is, instead of building the moisture plug like this, this mouthpiece material here will become the, uh, the moisture plug and we won't have this additional, we wouldn't have this additional ebony. It would just like go cocobolo, then maybe to ebony, then cocobolo and so on. And um, so, go ahead and put this in and play this for you. This is teak. And I love this particular flute. It's uh, It's got this gorgeous figure on it here and all of this broad band striping on the wood is, uh, you see it occasionally on teak, but not very often do you see this much color variation in teak. Usually it's much more um, just this honey golden um, color. It's a beautiful wood, but it's usually a little more subtle in its beauty. This one is, is just very, very striking. And that's uh, uh, trimmed with, with ebony and cocobolo, um, a little bit of turquoise, have the turquoise uh, diamond on the top of the flat totem. So it's really fun. And this flute is currently available on the website. So you're welcome to, uh, to order it there if you're interested in this flute. Uh, if you're interested in bass flute that, uh, that we haven't, that's not on the website, just give me a call. We can talk about it and design something for you. Now let's see if I can do that right hand play. <laughs> So not quite as smooth as uh, playing it the way I normally play, which is left hand down. But still, not too bad. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, you know, I, I just, I love making flutes and appreciate all of you so much for, uh, for purchasing our flutes and making music with them. Um, and uh, in fact, you know, I was thinking earlier, if I, on this flute, I'm going to go ahead and offer a 15% discount because this is the prototype flute. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It is a gorgeous instrument, but uh, just as a uh, kind of a promo kind to uh, promote the new side blow, I thought we would do that. In fact, um, we'll go ahead and make that a 15% a discount that uh, can be on any bass flutes ordered in the month of January. So through the month of January, we'll, uh, we'll make that an option for you. Um, maybe we'll do a... Uh, 
we'll use for uh, for the discount coupon code we'll use base jan 2017 that'll be b a s s j a n 2017 and that will give you a 15% discount on this flute or if you want to order a base flute uh, that's a different design just give me a call love to talk to you about it 801-822-1415 and we'll talk to you later